Her dream to become a photographer started when she was in grade nine. Her first camera was a 2.3 megapixel Olympus point and shoot that her mom won at a corporate party. When Patricia finishes high school, she plans to move to Paris, France to continue her education in photography. Once she moves there, she hopes to find a career in high fashion photography, shooting for fashion magazines. Now, at the age of 17, Patricia has currently finished two high school credits in photography and has shot for over 100 clients in five weddings. Well, it was when I started, um, I started taking photos for more than just friends. Um, I started taking photos for people I, I didn't know who had seen my work and uh, people who had referred me before. And um, I, I'd been told by people in my family, by friends, um, that I should really start looking into it as, you know, starting to charge people. So when I did start to charge people um, and I really started to put my, my name out there and I launched my website, that's when I decided that, you know, it could actually go somewhere and the fact that it never felt like work just made it easier, so. The most important part um, of being in media, any kind of media, is that you need to get your name out there, you need to have connections. So I think that um, any way that I can let people know about my work, whether it's on the internet, handing out business cards, anything like that, um, and you really have to open your mind. Like my specific genre I like shooting is high fashion, um, but I have to keep an open mind and shoot for all types of clients so that my name um, is branched out. Um, well, in these days, um, there's a lot of people who are getting into photography and it's all about the studio lights and what it looks like in the studio and um, you know a lot of people are in it for the wrong reasons and I feel like when I'm shooting um, first of all when I started shooting I, sh I shot with natural light. Shooting with natural light um, has really helped me be able to take better pictures um, because it makes the photo a lot more raw. It's also taught me how to shoot with studio light, but in ways that it doesn't look really staged. It looks a lot more candid, a lot um, softer, a lot less harsh than a lot of, you know, you know, lights and flashes that a lot of um, photographers use today. So I feel like that's what makes it unique. <laughs> um, I would just love to find my work in a magazine, something like fashion magazine, Vogue, I would die. Um, but as long as I'm, like obviously I, I would love to get my work in that kind of a magazine, a fashion, a high fashion magazine, but um, mostly I would just love to keep doing it, love to keep working with photography, whether it be, you know, a, a teacher teaching photography. Um, but somehow keeping it in my life because it had such a huge impact. Okay. Today I am shooting um, my friend Alex Biro. Um, we are shooting for my stop motion movie that I'm working on, all photographs. Um, uh, it's going with the song Creep by Radiohead. It's a version by Scal and the Calancy Brothers. And um, the theme of the shoot is isolation, um, and feeling alone in the world when you know when there's so many people but you're you're alone in yourself that in itself makes every photograph personal to her knowing that everyone she takes has its own moment in life that will never be recreated, but always remembered through her work. <laughs> Just put my personality into my work. <laughs> 